Hey there, YouTube family, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with DJ. And I, of course, am your host, Chef DJ. So it's the night before New Year's Eve. It's the eve before New Year's Eve, if you will. And I figured I'd make something really simple, show you how to make something that is quick, easy, fast, in a hurry. It's absolutely delicious. Everybody loves it. Grandma used to make it all the time, and we absolutely loved it. We ate it up. We tore that thing up every time. Well, I'm going to show you how to make salmon croquettes from scratch. Well, so I'm going to show you how to make salmon croquettes. So make sure that you get your seasoning cabinet open as I have mine open, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, all right, all right. And so for tonight's recipe, you will need this right here, bumblebee pink salmon. This is the 14.75 ounce can, but you can use one larger or smaller depending on how many people that you're going to be feeding. This particular can feeds roughly around five, five normal eating people. And you will need those level, two eggs. You're gonna need two of those. You will also need a half of a large yellow onion or you can use the whole yellow onion. However oniony you want your meal to be, do that. You're going to need roughly about a half cup of flour. Less or more depending on your own liking. You don't want the salmon croquette to be too cakey. You'll need about a teaspoon of salt. I have Morton salt, but if you have a generic brand of salt, that's perfectly fine. As long as it's iodized, right? You will need about a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. And you're going to need this right here. You're going to need some garlic powder. I have roasted garlic powder. If you have a regular garlic powder, that's perfectly fine. Make it all your own, like I said before. You're going to need some of that. So we'll use roughly about a teaspoon of that because garlic makes everything better. You know that, right? And you'll need this right here. You'll need some vegetable oil. You will need roughly about a quarter cup to a half cup of vegetable oil. Not a lot. You don't want to submerge it. You're not going to deep fry it. You're just going to, you know, pan fry it a little bit. I'm going to use half the onion. I'm using half, but if you choose to use more, you certainly can. You have my permission to do so. Now, if you wanted to use more, just go ahead and do it. We're going to use half of this onion. I'm going to cut it up. Chop it up kind of coarse, if you will. Here's your salmon. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. I'm gonna get that trusty dusty can open and open this bad boy up. We're gonna drain the juice out of the can of salmon because nobody wants it to be too damn. No, no, no. You can leave a little juice in there if you like, but not too much. Okay. Let's drain some of that out. Yeah, let's drain some of that out. As you can hear, there's quite a bit in there. So, there is your salmon. Now, inside your can of salmon, you will find that there are bones. What you can do here is what I like to do. Take the bones out. See that? Get that out of there. You don't want that. You do not want that. Take that out. Take that out. Let's see here if there's any more bones. Just pick through it, you know. And the thing that's beautiful about this is that the salmon is already cooked. So, you don't have to actually make the fresh salmon some have done it with fresh salmon and that's perfectly fine as well that's delicious you know but um for sake of time get the canned salmon and it works and tastes just as good i promise you it does i'm getting all the extra bones out of here because we don't want to bite into any of that and some like it with the bones in it i have had it where some had bones in it and it was like oh okay this is different but <laughs> but you know to each his own if you like the bones in it Hey, work with it. Make it work for you. If they like the bones, give them the bones, sis. Give them the bones, bro. That's what they like. Let them have the bones in it. I don't care for it. So I like to pick the bones out of it. Okay. I think we got all the bones out of there. 
I have on my gloves because this can be a really messy situation as you can see. Let's see, all the bones are out of there. All the bones are out of there. No bones, no bones. All right, so now what we're going to do, those onions that we chopped up, these right here, throw them in there. Mix that all in there, just like that. Just like that. Make it real pretty. Mix that in there. And this goes good. Now y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but this goes really good with a homemade biscuit. I've showed you how to make, shown you rather, how to make a homemade biscuit. Go back, watch the previous videos. Homemade biscuits are essential, easy to make, not complicated at all. But you get you some good old molasses or some Cairo syrup to go with that and have this right here. It's a wrap, you're gonna be done. I remember you have Weddles, eggs, those, two of them. I'm gonna take those, drop those in there. One, and two. Mix that in there like so. Mix it in, mix it in, mix it in. You'll probably be making salmon croquettes. You know what, Ma, I want some salmon croquettes. Make the kids some salmon croquettes so you'll be happy and they'll be happy. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta hear them complaining. I don't wanna eat that. Make the salmon croquettes, sis. <laughs> they'll love them. And I did say that I was going to use like a half cup of flour. Based off of the mixture that we have here, we probably will not need a half cup of flour, probably like a quarter cup of that. That'd be perfectly fine. Now we're going to use, let me take this glove off because I don't want to get that salmon on my seasonings that we're about to use. We're going to use this right here. Our Morton salt. We're going to do about a teaspoon of that. There you go. Uh, I got a teaspoon of that. All right. This right here, your garlic powder. You're going to do a teaspoon of that. And your ground black pepper. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of that because certain brands of ground black pepper is a little bit spicier than the others. I don't know why, but the heat index on this actually messed up one of my meals. It was horrible. I was so disappointed. I was so upset. <laughs> all right, so we're using a quarter teaspoon of that. We're gonna mix all those seasonings in there, just like so. Mix it in there. Mix it in there, mix it in there. Get those flavors working. Notice I have one free hand with the glove on it. The other one, I gotta use, use it for my season, you know? All right, so here's your flour. We have here a half cup of flour. We're not gonna use all that, scratch that. We're gonna use about a quarter cup. That's about enough there. You don't want it to be too cakey unless you absolutely do. Um, because what happens is you'll have like bread with salmon essence. It's really not cool. All right, here come those gloves again. What are we about to do? We're about to go ahead and make our patties out of this right here. So, we're going to form our patties. Make these roughly about two inches big. Two inches or so. No, oh, this is about three inches. About three inches of a patty. Set it aside. We're gonna fry these bad boys up, okay? It's really simple, y'all. It's really simple, I promise you it is. Real simple. Real simple, real easy, not complicated at all. And look at that. That one can of salmon is making all of that right here that you see before your eyes. So simple meals, you know? I found this on sale. Sometimes um, salmon in the can can be a little bit expensive. And I think it's because it's already prepared and it's canned and all that other stuff. But listen, when you get something like that and you find a sale on it, Back up, <laughs> you're gonna need that. Good for breakfast, good for dinner. It's just good. All around, it's just good. So as you can see already, we already got four. We've already got four of them. 
And here's number five, single. Earlier in the video, I said uno single. I actually meant uno do, <laughs> but I said uno single. You know, I'm just trying to be a little international on you. You know what I mean? That's five, six, say, I believe that's correct. Six. Number seven. I think we're going to get eight croquettes out of this. Seven, siete, and eight ocho. We have eight salmon croquettes. If I was really fluent in Spanish, I would say eight salmon croquettes, but I don't know how to say that, so I just say ocho. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. But we have eight salmon croquettes. Now that these are done, our grease is nice and hot. I smell it. And we're going to go ahead and fry these bad babies up. You're going to love what you eat. You're going to love what you taste. It's going to be real good. You're going to like it, man. You're going to like it. Let's go. Let's go ahead and drop our croquette in there. One at a time. There's something about the sizzle of cooking grease. I don't know what it is. It just, just brings you joy. You know, it just makes you feel wonderful. It makes you feel all good inside. It makes you feel like you, you're down south. Like you're about to sit on the front porch. You're just waiting for grandma to finish cooking. It don't take long to make at all, as you can see. Very simple process, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put about three in there, let's do that. Cook them for about two to three minutes on each side, keeping in mind that you have raw eggs in there, so you want to be sure to cook the egg as you do not want salmonella poison. Poisoning. What is poison? I don't know. But you don't want salmonella poisoning. All right. So the first one that we dropped in, let's check on that. Turn that bad boy over. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that golden brown. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. As Wesley Snipes said, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Time to take these bad boys out and just drain them real quick. Here we go. Oh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. They are beautiful. Take that one out. Turn this one over for a little bit because you ain't brown enough. Yeah, brown on that side, but it's gonna brown on both sides. Make it real pretty. I think food tastes better when it's pretty. I think food tastes a lot more delicious and delectable and tantalizing to the palate when it tastes real good and look real pretty. It has to look pretty. You gotta make it pretty. People don't enjoy the ugly meal, so you gotta make it pretty. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, ma'ams and sirs, Mr. and Mrs., auntie and uncle, grandma and grandpa, Mr. and Mrs., little kids, little boys, all y'all, come on in here, get yourself some salmon croquettes. Here they are. <whistles> You're gonna enjoy this. I even whipped up a little bit of tartar sauce to go with that. Tartar sauce? Yeah, a little bit of tartar sauce to go with that. Got some mayonnaise, got some relish. I put a little kick on it. I put some Frank's red hot sauce in it. And it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. They're nice and hot too. Enjoy. Just got a croquet. We just got a croquet. We just got a croquet. I wondered how it is. All right, here we go. It's nice and hot too, y'all. I'm gonna dip it inside that little sauce right there. It's hot, but it's so good. It's so good. It is so good. You're gonna enjoy it. All right, all right, all right. And so our salmon croquettes are done. 
I do want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your subscriptions. And if you have not subscribed, by all means, hit that post notification bell on the bottom right of your screen and select all so that you'll be notified every time that Chef DJ posts another video for your tasting pleasure. With that being said, you can close your seasoning cabinet, eat your salmon croquettes because we are officially done. Enjoy.